Hey everybody, welcome to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're going to be reviewing a new whiskey, a brand of whiskey, a whole line of whiskey that we've actually never done on the show before, which is from Uncle Nearest. So this one's a little bit different because everything from Uncle Nearest, they're very proud to be all in Tennessee and everything like that. This one, on the other hand, is not. Their rye is actually sourced from Canada, and it was matured, and actually, and here's the thing, it's a little gray area. Now, I don't know if they are contract distilling in Canada or they just bought aged barrels in Canada, but they did say that after sitting in Canada, then they moved to New York where they sat in New York for four years. So apparently Uncle Nearest and Fawn, they've got some warehouses in New York scattered in some places. So it sat there for four years and then they moved them down to Tennessee where they rested even more before being bottled. Or their brokers in New York. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Man, barrels just transfer all over the place. Yeah. Because they just came out with their distillery in Chubbyville, Tennessee, I think a year and a half plus ago. So, of course, everything they've been doing is sourced. So, nothing is what they have been doing or on their own. Or contract still. Or yeah. contract or whatever it is. Correct. Thank you for, for saying that as well. Yeah. Um, but this one also kind of goes against the grain, if you will, of what they've typically been doing where they cut everything down. This is one of their first and only barrel proof releases. So this one is barrel proof at 118.4 proof. This and, one says 119. Oh, never mind. This one is 119.4 <laughs> proof. I was I was looking at the image online. Gotcha. So thank you. So this is 119. What do you say? 119 point what? Uh, 119.7. Okay. And, and this is blend number one. Blend number one. And this one has an SRP of 150 Dollars. And it's blended by Edie Butler, which is the fifth generation master blender. Yep. Very cool. Yep. I'm the first generation of the blender. pursuit. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll get there. Yep. But I think we should probably have Edie on the show at some point, yeah. too. So we'll we'll make it happen That'd in the good, future. Good one. Yep. Well, here we go. On to the nose. We've talked enough now. Oh, mm. that's interesting. Yeah, not what I was expecting at all. No. I was expecting... It's like usually a, with Canadian rice, you get like, you know, this big sweetness up front, you know, like grape and like, this is more. Uh, it reminds me of just a sugar candy, almost like a, a if you chewed on a handful of nerds and you put them in your mouth, but had just a little bit of a rye spice on the back end. Yeah, I mean, there's some like a little bit of butter in there too, like a little... I can see Definitely that. like some creaminess to it, butter. Yeah, like sweet butter, maybe cinnamon butter or something. They're winning a point on the interesting scale so far. So let's go ahead and we'll we'll get to the taste. Yeah. I mean, for 119, it's not it's not overwhelming. I mean, it's very like crushable. Yeah. Um there's some like the way you're talking about nerds, like that grape candy starts off with that grape candy, like real explosion of that, but then it moves into this nice creamy, like, uh, like what's a creamy candy? I don't know. Like a, like a Werther's original or the bulls, no. the bullseyes that um, you see. Yeah. Like in. a bullseye more like that. Yeah. Like more like, uh, like marshmallow, the, the, the cream, the marshmallow cream, the whip, you know, you uh, get out of, okay. And it's talking about, yeah, it's, you get out of the, the jar mm -hmm. um, and that, and then it, it has like some really nice honey notes too on that. So. I, actually, I'm glad you said that. Yes, there is a good amount of honey notes. Even the color alone reminds me a little bit of honey. I, first, honestly, I, I try this and I'm thinking, I, I looked at it and I said, gosh, is it, how don't, you don't know how old it is. It does, you get a little bit of like a rye grain that does sort of show in there. Yep. But for the most part, I still think it's a very solid offering. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of good, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on in here. Let's go ahead and rate it then on the nose. Where are you at? Thumbs up. I liked it. All right. And the taste? Thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. And the finish? Thumbs up. I, 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 I'm i surprised I have three thumbs up on this. It was, I, I know. I really liked it. it. I thought, like I said, it was a solid offering. Definitely unique flavor profile. Can Canadian rye is actually one of my favorites. I know Ryan was just talking about beforehand. We both enjoy Canadian rye. And what they're doing here, I think it's a really solid offering. Yep. So All right. That's, Edie. Keep you blending that attention. Yeah, keep blending those together. Yep. But that's going to be a review of Uncle Nearest's new rye whiskey release. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.